Today we're talking about the fifth commandment. It says in Exodus twenty twelve, honor your father and your mother so that you may have a long life in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. <laughs> I just love that because it's kind of implying that if you don't obey your parents, they're going to kill you. <laughs> now, that's not exactly what it's saying, although there is a hint of truth in that, right? Honoring your parents is so very fundamental to what it means to follow God. Now, this doesn't mean that you obey them when they're telling you to sin, and it doesn't mean that they're right all the time, but it does mean that we should respect that our lives literally came from them, and that if they're wise and caring for us, then we'd be wise to listen to them. So many of us during our teenage years kind of disrespect our parents, right? But they have wisdom. They've had experiences that we hadn't had yet. If you want to live a long life, respect your parents. Now, we think about that in terms of growing up and learning how to do life as kids and teenagers, but even as adults, there's an element of how this ongoing plays out in our lives. I'm 41. My parents are in their 70s now, and there's still a lot of wisdom that I haven't gained from them. There's the old adage of respect your elders. The truth is, no matter how old you are, you can learn things from others. And that can start with your parents. Honor them. Respect them. When you're still living in their home, obey them as long as they're not leading you to sin, right? By doing all these kinds of things, we're really respecting God as well. We're recognizing God's authority over us. We're recognizing that God has authority to place people over us and in our lives. So even as we honor our parents, we're really loving the Lord our God. And we're going to see this play out in the next five commandments as well. As we seek to love our neighbor, we do that to love God. The greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And the second Jesus said is like it, to love your neighbor as yourself. And as we love our neighbor as ourself, we're doing that to the glory of God. So honor your parents and love God. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow.